All right. So the connecting is just as easy as oh, and you got a trailer. Yeah, I think it's time to clean this up. It's getting a little, uh, a little dirty there. I've done this a few times already, but. Is that gutter it's not clogged so that water could escape pretty good all right there's Ruth talking the neighbor and bikes are packed up they're ready to go all right so the connecting it's just as easy as a bolt, and you got a trailer. You gotta make sure you clear the ball, so we're gonna raise it up. And then now, you see, we're above it. So now I'm gonna back up. It moved. It moved when you. It moved even it's worse. Fine. It's fine. You set a time. We shall see. Nope, it's not fine. And who was right? Who was right? Who was right? It's not going. It's not going. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> oh, and how I love being right. Right there! Uh-uh! No! It went forward! Right there! So now that the ball is in there and you can see it in there, now I... And then we take this lock and I put it through so the pin does not come off because I had a bad experience one time towing a boat and it wasn't fun. So, gotta get the chains put in. Then we gotta get our, our bars. But, to get those bars, I gotta get, we gotta move it up. So we gotta put these. Good. Wait. No. <laughs> Can't go up. Yeah, it's not. What's going on? You gotta make sure everything is 100%. What happened? We have to fix this later, I guess. Why? What happened? Because it's not in the right place. Oh no, is that bad? No, uh, 
She back there. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go higher. Because I'm at an angle. Is it on an angle? Yeah. Yeah. This happened to me one time only before. If it's not perfectly aligned, then they don't go in right. And very close. Just gotta play with it. Unfortunately, this is the thing about travel trailers. Now? Now you gotta go back down though, right? Do I get my power? Huh? But you gotta go back down because you went up? Yes, but first you plug in your power. Now, I retract. And that's it. And now you have your hitch, your trailer hitched to your truck and it's safe. You gotta double check everything. Chains are good. Those pins. Missed the pin on this side. So this is the pin that I missed because I was concentrating on that one over there. So, so I that's forgot. important. This is why you guys have to um, have each other's back and double check each other and double and triple check things because had he not looked back on that side again, he wouldn't have realized that he missed the pin on that side. And what could happen? I mean, it would have just came loose and swung and the damage the truck um, and not give you the weight distribution and sway control that you need. All right, so now I'm able to get it all the way flush and then goes in the second pin. Huh. That's not good. What happened? No, I'm going to have to grease that. Maintenance, that's what's coming next. And if you like what you see so far, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe. Turn that notification to all so you don't miss a thing. All right, now we just go through, check everything. Got to move the stairs, got to remove the chalk. All right, make sure all the doors are closed. It's like doing a pre-check when I was in the Navy and then Pilots will do their pre-check on the aircraft. I already checked the tires and all that, so we're good there. Nose to nose. You start from the nose, you go around and end up in the nose. So, chains are good, power. Let's double check to make sure that we have lights. Yep, lights are working. Side lights. Those lights are working. And okay, so we're good to go. Now hit the road and we'll do a brake test. Okay, so the last thing on our, well, one of the last things on our checklist is checking your lights. And you gotta do that with somebody in the car and you have to have your spotter just make sure that all your lights are in working order there's nothing worse than having brake lights that don't work or signal lights that don't work so here we go all right brake lights yep right left right Bolt together. Yep, working good. Make sure that everything good. Turning this way. Yep. 
make sure he's clearing that. He's going to hit the trees a little tiny bit, but that's okay. Okay, you're good. Good. You're good. Can I leave? Make sure we didn't leave anything behind. And here we go. The truck is dirty. No, sit, lay down. Go lay down, lay down. Yep, we forgot her bed. The, at, lay down. At the, get up there, now. We forgot her bed in the storage. We don't have time to go, so. That's the best, next best thing that we can do. Now we're gonna do a brake check. I put it onto a hall. And Lay down. put it on drive. There's my gain. If I push like this, they should stop. And we're good. All right. Why don't we have rear mover, rear um, well, camera, means. and side camera? Adrian, explain to them why we don't have the same reason as the last video. Same reason as the last video. And what is that? That is that this is not a fuse. And there's something more, but I got to take this whole dash apart to get to it, and I haven't had time. And that's why. When are you going to do it? I don't, I don't think know. we should be traveling with it. One of these days. I thought you were going to buy a piece for it. Well, it, it wasn't going to come enough time. So. Maybe next time, not wait. Yeah, I said it. Stopping for gas. We are being. We are being. We did a food run stopping for gas and then we are going back so tomorrow we can just relax and get the whole camping experience because even though we live full time when we go camping to another campground that's not our home base that's when we like to have the full camping experience when we're at home it's our home base so that's our home i know i know it's kind of confusing Ooh, it got too dark. Perfect. Take yeah, a, apparently. Just go straight out and then you take a right. <laughs> So Ruth, did you have a good time? Huh? I'm taking Halisha because she wants to eat. Just close it. Okay. So, here's our setup. 